when I was, I think when I was 15, mum took me to an old music shop called McCormick's in Glasgow, a very famous music store in Glasgow run by a family, which is sadly no longer there now, but and um, decided that if I was going to take this, this music thing seriously, then I should have a guitar that lasts the same length of time that I will. And she bought me my very first Gibson Les Paul, which is my wine red Les Paul standard that I have, which is, which is my, my Lucille, that's my baby. And it's, uh, the, the sentimental value to that guitar is, is, is worth everything to me. It's my favorite guitar. I love it. I love it forever, and uh, and and it's actually quite a good guitar <laughs> as well. <laughs> You'd be amazed at the subtle the subtle differences between two identical d guitars. They, they have they have so many applications to sound different, and and especially in a studio environment when you're recording, you um, you can you can you can get a lot of different things out of a guitar that's got you know that's got a, you know a difference of a year or two in age. With with whatever piece of wood it's made of, you'd be amazed at how how much the tone can change. So all of my guitars are my favourites, <laughs> all of them.